The process of creating a flow involves adding nodes to the workspace and wiring them together. This video shows you how to do that. To create a simple flow, you start by dragging an inject node from the palette to the workspace. This node allows you to manually inject messages into a flow. Next, add a debug node and wire them together by clicking on the inject node's output and dragging to the debug node. With them wired together, whenever the inject node sends a message, it will be received by the debug node. But at this point, the flow only exists in the editor. For it to start doing anything, it must be deployed to the runtime, which you can do by clicking the deploy button. Once deployed, you can click the button next to the inject node to trigger it. Opening up the debug sidebar shows the messages that arrive at the debug node. The default configuration of the inject node is to send the current timestamp, formatted as milliseconds since January the 1st, 1970. The default configuration of the debug node is to display the payload of each message. The next step is to add a function node by dragging it from the palette and dropping it onto the wire between the existing nodes. This splices the node into the wire. The function node lets you write some JavaScript code that gets run against each message passing through. To configure the node, double click on it to open its edit dialog, then start editing. In this example, I'll change the code to reformat the inject node's timestamp to a more human readable format. With that change made and deployed, now we click the inject node and you can see the formatted message arrive in debug. 